Hey everybody, how are you doing today? This is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at MX Linux KDE. But before we get started, if you would, please like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. Also, it'll enter you into the Asus ZenBook 14 giveaway that we're doing on August 31st, 2021. We're at MX Linux's website. Right now they offer it in XFCE, KDE, and Fluxbox. Today we'll be looking at the KDE. MX Linux is a venture between Anti-X and MX Linux communities to create a family of operating systems that are designed to combine elegant and efficient desktops. Of course, it's running on stable Debian, so you know it's going to be a bulletproof desktop. So let's close out of Firefox real quick. And this is what you're met with in KDE. You get your welcome screen right off the bat. It's got frequently asked questions. It's got a user's manual. It's got a wiki, tools, tweak panel, forum, videos, contribute, codex, and popular apps. Let's look at the tweak panel right off the bat. Enable single click. I'm going to take that off because I like double clicking. Show windows from all workspaces and other. Enable kernel sandbox. We already have that enabled. So let's close out of that. And right off the bat, you'll look up here. We've got a widget. Shows you the time of day. Shows you how much hard drive is being used, how much memory is being used, and a percentage of CPU. Right now, I'm, it's using about 26% of the 4 gigabytes I have assigned in the machine. And the CPU is using about 3%. I only have two cores assigned to this machine because I like to see how these machines run on low resources. So that way you know if you've got an older laptop, it'll work just fine on it. So we're going to come down here to the panel right off the we got system settings. Let's open that up. You got your workspace theme. Right now we're in the MX theme. I want to go to Breeze Dark because I like the darker back backgrounds. So let's change that. Then you have your desktop theme. You can come over here and change whatever you want over here. Presently, we are on Breeze Dark. You can go to Breeze Light, Oxygen, Breeze, Air. And if you don't like any of these choices, go right down here, get new themes. You can download them directly to the computer. Cursor themes. You got your cursor themes right here on KDE. You don't like those, go down here, get new theme. There's hundreds to choose from. Splash screen. Presently, we are just using the Breeze Splash theme, or the MX Splash theme, sorry. If you don't like that theme, and get a new one. I know I sound like a broken record player, but I like pointing out the customization options on KDE. There's always the opportunity to get something else. So let's go back to workspace. You've got colors. You've got fonts. I'm going to go ahead and change the fonts because I like them bigger across the operating system. So let's scroll down. It's on 10. I want to set it to 12. Okay. It gave me a warning there and said it won't take effect until the application's been restarted. So I knew that already, but I wanted to go ahead and read it anyway. Icons. Right now, we're using the Breeze Dark icon set. You can change this to any icon set you would like to use. And as before, if you don't like any of these, go down here to get new themes. You got a brand new set of icons before you know it. Let's back up. Application style. You can change your widget styles, what you want those to look like, your window decorations you can change. You can change the way your open, close, minimize looks and genome application style. When you download a genome application, you can adjust the way it looks inside of KDE. So let's go back to application, desktop behavior. You can change desktop effects, screen edges, touch screen, screen locking, virtual desktops, window management. You can come in here and change the window behavior, title bar actions, window actions moving and advanced. Task switcher, KWIN scripts, window rules. You have complete control over your KDE desktop. You can change it and customize it any way you like. You got global shortcuts, standard shortcuts, web shortcuts, custom shortcuts, and the list goes on and on. Startup, shutdown, search, account details, regional settings, notifications, applications, accessibilities, connection settings, Bluetooth, hardware, input devices, display and monitor, multimedia, power management, KDE Connect. For those of you who don't know, if you have KDE, you can download KDE Connect to your Android phone and then you can receive your messages that you get to your Android phone directly on your KDE desktop. Then we have printers and removable storage. So let's close out of the settings. File manager, it comes with Dolphin File Manager. Let's move that over here. What I like about Dolphin is it gives you customization ability to make your folders as big as you want them or as small as you want them depending on what your preferences are. Come over here to the left side you got your usual suspects home desktop downloads root trash today yesterday documents images audio files or videos. Now I like about this is that you can change these up you can right click down here if you want to add an entry you can go here and label it show it where it's going to be and then you can add it over there. What 
else I like is this is totally customizable. You can move anything to where you want it. If you want to take videos and put them on places, you can put them over there. Boom. You just drop videos over here. You can move it up under home, move your desktop to the bottom below trash if you want. It's completely customizable so you can change it to the way you want it not the way somebody dictates that you use it. So let's close out of that. And we've already looked at Firefox. So what we'll do over here is we'll go ahead and open the MX menu. Right off the bat, you have Education, which gives you LibreOffice Math. You've got Games, KMahjong, KMines, KSudoku, L Breakout, Peggy, Graphics. You've got Digicam. You've got GIMP, Out of the Box, which is GNU Image Manipulation Program, GScan 2PDF, GwynView, LibreOffice Draw, Ocular, Simple Scan. Internet. You've got Firefox, KPPP, KRDC, KTorrent, and Thunderbird, Multimedia. You've got Also Mixer, Clementine, GUVC View, K3B, Pulse Audio, Volume Control, and VLC Media Player. MX Tools. Look at this. You've got Brightness System Tray, CH Root Rescue Scan, CLI APT, Format USB I Device Mounter, Live USB Kernel Updater. You've got MX Boot Options. Boot Repair, MX Cleanup, MX Codex Installer, MX Conky, MX Date and Time, MX Live USB Maker. If you're running MX and you want to make a live USB of another Linux distribution, you just open this up, download the ISO or the image, it'll burn to the USB, restart your system, and you're looking at another Linux environment. MX Network Assistant, MX Package Installer, MX Remaster CC, MX Repo Manager, MX Select Sound, MX Snapshot, MX Tools, MX Tweak, MX User Manager, MX Welcome, NVIDIA Driver Installer, Quick System Info. Let's go ahead and look at that real quick. And it gives you in terminal Quick System Info. Processing uptime, runtime, how much RAM you're using, how much CPU usage you're dealing with, and what kernel you're running on. It's nice information and it's quick. So let's go back over here, MX Tools. And then you got System Locale, System Keyboard, Office. You get LibreOffice out of the box. You got Foliate, you got LibreOffice Base, Calc, Draw, Impress, Math, and Writer. Ocular, PDF Arranger. You got your settings. You got Adblock, ADSL, PPP, PO Configuration, Brightness System Tray. Disk Manager, File Wall Configuration, iDevice Manager, Kvanta Manager, MX Tools, MX Tweak. And then you got System Settings under that. Then you got your system settings where you got your bash config, your conky toggle, disk manager, uh, disk utilities, cases guard, console. Matter of fact, let's open console. Let's take a look if it's got HTOP out of the box. It does. At present, we're running two CPUs. As you can see, we're running about 18%. It spiked up because of the window change. We're running at about 7% on our CPU. We're running 933 megabytes of the three gigabytes we have assigned to this system. So you're seeing how it operates on a low spec, low resource system. So that lets you know if you've got an old dual core machine that you've got three, four gigabytes of RAM in it, you can throw MX Linux on it and the thing will fly. Utilities and help. You've got a help area and then power, reboot, log out, things you need to do. Right side over here, you've got your system load. You've got your system memory, you've got clipboard contents, you have update manager, you've got your internet connection, you've got battery life, most recent drive, I'm running off of MX Live USB, then you've got your volume, then you go up and it'll show your hidden icons, which is notifications, Bluetooth, keyboard indicator, KDE Connect, and then date and time. Right click your desktop, let's change wallpaper, let's see what kind of choice of wallpaper we have. Pretty decent, let's go ahead and throw that one up there, apply, okay. There it is, MX Linux KDE Debian based operating system. It really is strong, it's powerful, it's dependable, it's stable, it's elegant, it's efficient. I don't have any other words I can use to describe it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. It also gets you entered into the Asus ZenBook 14 giveaway that we are doing on August 31st, 2021. Thank you guys for watching the video. If there's other operating systems you would like to see me cover, please drop it in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.